464, I figured out what the problem with it is. Multiple mechanics over the last decade. Something is getting heat soaked in this. Uh, I don't have a manual with the wiring schematics to see what it is, but uh, oil pressure sensor, temperature sensor, I, I don't know. But it's definitely something electrical that is killing power to the coil. Um, that jumper wire right there goes straight from battery to coil. And, of course, when it's hooked up, it runs fine. I ran it uh, for another hour after it, d it died on me. You know, I cleaned all the fuel system out again, and it still wanted to die. So, I'm excited. Pretty much guarantee that is the problem. I'll have to run it, get it hot, and test it again but it's got to cool down completely before it does that um and I, I really i need to get this thing running because this this tractor is like a game changer i mean being able to to run implements and that boom pole has just saved my life i just moved four sets of cultivators well two sets of cultivators four units that i haven't been able to move for years down here because it's just too heavy and that thing goes high. It goes almost eight foot up in the air. So I need to do a little bit of fabricating with with it. Um, fix a couple bent things on it. But that boom pole is awesome. But like I say, super duper ridiculously excited to finally figure out why it was shutting off. Uh, had plagued my brother for years. And that's one of the reasons why he quit using the tractor. And it's been aggravating the snot to me. Either way... Super duper excited. So, let me get back to where I dumped those cultivators. I'll bring you back and we will take a look at those bad boys. Some interesting stuff uh, on that. All right, of course, it's windy as all get up up here on my hill. So, we're going to try this mic. Anyways, these cultivators right here were a set of the farmhands. Uh, he's been dead many a year, but these were left in one of our barns you know real or real estate the estate was closed for them kids moved on you know we didn't even really know they were down there until last year and it's been probably 10 years since he's been dead um tractor long gone but uh or at least i'm assuming that's where they came from anyways it's very interesting two sets were set up for different types of cultivating weed control and these were set up with shanks to drop fertilizer. Pretty cool. Uh, what I'm doing, I've got, I'm definitely not cultivator poor. I've only got one set for the rear. But for the front, what I'm going to do is probably use these original ones. Because they are the international blue. If you look at all the toolbars and stuff. And that's close to the time period of the 48C. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these put on. And... I actually need to swap these bars, I think. Because if I'm doing 38 inch rows, the bars need to be flipped per manual. I've got to do some measuring on it to see. But I just thought it was really interesting. Um, like I say, an original set of the blue ones there. And then these are black, so I'm assuming that they're later. Um, what's interesting is these. The... Uh, I don't know what these are called, but look at those versus that one. The same thing with the shanks. I don't know if they're broken or if they're supposed to be that way. Those two are like that, and that one's like that. Then that one's different. Some of these bars, are, I, can't think, I don't know what those are called, those clamps. That one's regular. That one's open in the back. There's a different one there. But what I'm doing is going through these. I'm going to make one good set. These are sitting on a third set. And I've already torn down the fourth set. But what I'm doing, I'm going through. And I guess I'm just going to stockpile some of these parts. Um, you know, toolbars, pivoting pieces. Those are the hillers that I brought. Uh, anything that's straight, I'm keeping. You know, U-bolts, brackets, there are those. <laughs> Out of the first set, I only had two that I could, uh, that were completely free as far as, 
you know, the adjustment bolts and stuff. But pretty cool that that could at least get a couple. And you know, they're, they're all different. So I'm assuming as they were bent or broken, they were upgraded with whatever they had. I noticed some of the sweeps were John Deere on here. And I'm assuming most of it was somewhat interchangeable, you know, based off the stock. But like I had mentioned, having the boom pole on the 464 just helped tremendously me being able to get these bad boys out here. It's definitely pretty cool. This one's been sitting in the dirt. Like I say, years, 10, 15 years they've probably been in the barn. And the, um, the, the shields are seized up, but that's easy enough to break loose. So, like I say, I'm, I'm pretty excited to have them out and need to go ahead and get them set up. It looks like all the lift arms are here. I need to get them all cleaned up and get them set to get ready to start cultivating. I mean, here we are, getting towards the end of March. I'll plant in May. So, you know, less than two months before I need these. Anyways, just kind of wanted to share along with them. Like I say, it's kind of cool. Anyways, you guys be good and be safe, and we'll catch you next time.